What is anthropology? So one traditional way to start a course like this would be to ask you what you know of the title and the subject, just as the most general possible thing. A second way, traditionally again, to start this course would be to answer the question by taking the word anthropology and introduce it formally, etymologically, like this. Look at the anthropo and anthropology and remind you that it and ology both come from Greek words where anthropos is ancient Greek for human being and logos comes from the ancient Greek for speech, oration, or discourse, but has come to mean science and to be a signifier of serious study of anything. So anthropology means what people 150 years ago would have called the science of man, and what I will instead introduce to you as the study of humanity. And if you look around a university campus and you see all the various ologies, um, then you will know that this particular kind of signifying where the university is reminding you that they offer a serious study of something, and they do that with a marker of an ancient Greek word or a bit of Roman or medieval architecture to connect symbolically as a, a, to a source of wisdom or knowledge and surround you with a long chain of symbols that make up the meaning laden space of the university. And so on a morning like this one, people across the university are introducing their own disciplines one by one. And I could go on from there. And in fact, starting to go on from there, not just saying I'm interested in telling what anthropology is, but rather asking what is it about a university setting and how it is arranged and how have we come to culturally mark certain things with certain languages or architectural features, I'm starting down a path towards an anthropological description in which the simplest act is already embedded in a web of meanings, particular to the cultural setting in which it exists. Okay, so back to our definition. You can only get so far, far with this kind of forward definition, so I'm going to push it in one important direction. Anthropology as an academic discipline, the American Anthropological Association says, studies the bases and the forms of human diversity and unity. So let's call it the study of human diversity. And you still, and still you really can't know what a discipline or really any practice is without knowing about who does it, their beliefs and traditions, their ways of acting. This is as true of anthropologists themselves as it is for any culture. So what if instead I gave you this very different description taken from a recent biographical history of four leading 20th century cultural anthropologists? Quote, they were scientists and thinkers in love with the challenge of understanding other human beings. The deepest science of humanity, they believed, was not one that taught us what was rooted and unchangeable about human nature. Rather, it was the one that revealed the wide variation in human societies, the immense and diverse vocabulary of propriety, customs, morals, and rectitude. Our most cherished traditions, they insisted, are only a tiny fraction of the many ways humans have devised for solving basic problems, from how to order society to how to mark the passage from childhood to, an, to adulthood. So as a cultural anthropologist, this feels like a lot better way to introduce you to a field of study through the scholars involved and how they see the world. It's personal. It describes a smaller set of people without losing sight of the importance of their actions. It links emotion and belief. If I shared a bit more, it would name names and tell you what those people did and why they matter. Okay, but why do I want to teach this to you? A handful of you may actually decide to become anthropologists and all of you will, I hope, add some words to, to your vocabulary from this class. But that vocabulary is really in the service of different ways of seeing the world. I want you to walk away aware that there are many more ways of being human today than you now know. I want you to come to understand how identity, power, and institutions are the products of human imagination and subject to being reimagined or replaced altogether. I want you to encounter ideas that change how you see the world. Welcome.